iClone having its own origin separate from Unreal is an incredibly handy device. Here we have two characters about to fight, but the monster's hand is in the way of the stairs. We can use the iClone origin to fix this. Let me turn off game view so we can see the lights and everything. Now we can go to iClone here and adjust our view a bit. Now if you try to rotate the iClone origin or move it, you're going to notice that it's acting oddly. And this is because the camera is still piloted. You need to unpilot the camera. And you do this in Unreal by clicking the little white arrow. Now we can still see what the iClone camera sees in the MIDI viewport in the lower right of the screen. Now we're free to move all our objects from iClone using the iClone origin. This allows us to properly set up our shot. And it keeps our characters in relation to one another as we move the origin. This becomes incredibly handy when you have a large scale environment. Right now we're just working on an interior, but imagine a set that had 100 miles of terrain. Once you've adjusted the iClone origin to get the characters where you want them, the last step is to go back and repilot the camera. LiveLink providing you the second origin gives you a very powerful tool to set up your shots quickly and efficiently.